Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to go over how to set up custom fields within Triple Seed. When building events, inputting leads, entering new contact and account profiles, or adjusting location information, I will be prompted to fill out standard fields of information such as event names, contact info, dates and time, guest counts, financial information, and so on. The information I enter here can then be merged into my documents as seen here. This information can also be included in my reporting as shown here. If my group has an additional field we would like to report on or merge into documents, this can be done using custom fields. A custom field is a field that does not already exist in the system, such as a loyalty number to report on for my contacts, or something like entering a food ready time when creating an event to have merged onto my kitchen documents. To set up custom fields, I will need the appropriate settings access. I want to go into settings and then custom fields. The most important thing to understand about custom fields is what type of field I actually need. Custom fields are available on the event and booking level, the contact and account level, and on the location details level. I will want to make sure I am adding the field to the correct area wherever I need it to land. This will impact not only where I am entering this custom field, but also where the data can be merged and what reports it can be included on. To reference my examples from earlier, the food ready time would be an event custom field and would populate on the new events page, whereas the loyalty number would be a contact custom field that lives on the contact profile. Unless I only work on the booking level, I will not use booking custom fields. If you have any questions on what type of custom field to add, please contact our support team. To create a custom field, I'm going to first choose what field I'm entering and be sure I'm on the appropriate tab, and then I can create this new field. If I have several custom fields I want to group together, I will first create a category and then add these fields to the same category. I am going to add a new event field for food ready time under the kitchen info category section. I am going to give it a name, select the locations where this field should be available, and I am going to make sure it is assigned to kitchen info from the category dropdown, but I can opt to assign it to any other existing category. This now brings me to the field type. We are going to select time since this is a food ready time field for the kitchen. The most commonly used is the short text, which will allow me to type freehand. If I have a predetermined amount of choices for my field, I can use the radio buttons, drop downs, multiple selections, or multiple checkboxes. The other options include numeric to enter numbers, dollar amounts, date, time, and URL. It's important to note that I can't change the type once I have created the custom field. Finally, I have the option to make this custom field required, meaning my team would not be able to move forward with creating the event before entering the food ready time. I want to click save once I am done detailing this. This field can now be merged into existing or new discussion email templates within my terms and conditions or my content templates. I also have the option to add this field information to any documents. Once the custom field has been added, I want to make sure it's showing exactly where I need it to. I'm going to go back into settings and then go to my document settings and open up the kitchen sheet layout. I'm going to enable this field on the multi events table and click save. Now when adding a new event for this location, I can see the new custom field is showing and when I click into it, I can select the food ready time. Once I create the event as well as the set of event documents, I will see the field now show at the top of my kitchen sheet. As a reminder, the food ready time field will also show as a merge field on any email templates or content templates within this event, and I can now include it within my event reporting. When reporting on custom fields, I want to make sure that I am choosing the right report to customize. When I choose my report, I can create a custom one and then click the customize button on the empty report page. I will want to go to the Columns tab in the widget and choose which custom fields I want to include in my report. 
Remember that not every report will be able to report on all custom fields. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact our support team, support at triplesheet.com, or by clicking on the help question button on the top right corner of any screen in Triple Seat.